Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jarrell. Welcome. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about and comparing two of the foundations. We're going to be doing a test where I decided to pick up these two foundations right here. This one is from Hourglass and it is called the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation and I got mine in the shade eight and this one is also new to me but the brand is also new to me i've never tried anything from lancome before this one is the tinted doll ultra wear care and glow and i got the shade 335 w i'm hoping that they are both close in shades otherwise we're going to be looking a little crazy but that's okay we will make it work so let me tell you a little bit about my skin before we get started i am oily to combination i do have an oily t-zone and not as much as it used to be but it's still oily and the outer part of my face is normal now a little bit leaning towards the dry side areas of concerns are my pores in this area i just don't want anything to be like caking up in this area right here but i do want it to cover my redness as you can see around my nose on my cheeks and on my chin and i also have some sunspots and discoloration in this area right here that I also like for it to be covered. So I do enjoy my medium coverage foundation. So I'm hoping that they are both really good in giving me that coverage, but also feeling a little bit lightweight. So let's go ahead and bring you in a little closer and let's get started with the video. But before we do, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And without further ado, Let's get started. All right, guys. So it's 12 of 41 in the afternoon. I am going to be starting with this primer right here, which works pretty much with every foundation that I've tried. So let's go ahead and use my all time favorite primer, which is Tatcha. I will link everything down below in the description area, just in case you guys are interested. This really blurs my pores, but it also hydrates at the same time. So I can use it in the outer part of my face so we're going to start with the hourglass ambient soft glow foundation and it retails for 58 dollars i did get mine at sephora and the highlights for this foundation is a vegan liquid formula medium coverage natural finish long wearing and cruelty free the packaging is glass i really enjoy the packaging it feels really nice and luxurious on the hands and it does have a pump so i am just going to do two pumps like that so it's really just one and a half because the first one is a little bit so I am going to use a little bit of this foundation first with my fingers I originally picked up the shade 7 but that was way too light for me so I went to the store and exchanged it for the right shade and I think that this is definitely going to be a better match for me so I am going to be using my sponge and start building it up it is a little bit too light for my forehead my forehead seems to be a little bit more tan than the rest of my face but we can definitely make it work. So I'm using the rest of the foundations just to cover on the sunspots that I have here and a little bit more on my nose and on the redness. And I'm using a brush and pressing it in to see if it gives me a little bit more coverage. So I went ahead and used the pump and a half for the foundation on this side. And this is how the skin is looking. It has been here for a little bit because I actually had to wet my other sponge for the other side. So now that it has been on the skin for a couple of minutes, I actually do see how beautiful it is. The only thing right away that I noticed is that I was trying to build it up and especially on this area right here, which I do have some sunspots. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but it is a a little bit darker here it's still peeking through it didn't give me the coverage um, to cover them up but it is definitely a solid medium coverage I really enjoy the way that it's looking on the skin it's not settling into my pores fine lines it's just looking really nice and natural for sure so that is my first impressions when it comes to this foundation from hourglass I really do like it so far I mean first impressions I just applied it <laughs> so far it's so good so let's go ahead and move on to the Lancome one all right so here we have the Lancome tinted doll ultra wear care and glow foundation and I did pick up mine in the shade 335 w really like the packaging and this retails for 47 dollars. i also got it at sephora and the highlights for this foundation is that it is a natural finish liquid formula medium coverage hyaluronic acid hydrating best for oily combo normal skin so let's go ahead and try it and i'm going to do the same thing to pumps i'm going to use my finger to spread it out first and it does have a strong scent to it yeah like perfumey 
just so you guys know, I'm going to use a green sponge for this eye. I'm going to spread it out. So my forehead is definitely a little tanner than both of the foundations, but they both look pretty good on the skin and for the rest of my body. And just building it up a little bit more here for the sunspots that I have and some redness around my nose and dragging it down. I'm going to build it up a little bit more on my nose because I do see some redness. I'm going to use a brush and tap it in and adding the rest of the foundation on my chin. So here is the Lancome foundation and both brush and sponge did actually work with this foundation. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, but right away, I really, really like this foundation, like right away. It is absolutely beautiful. The only thing is that the scent could be a little bit triggering for some people, especially if you are a little bit sensitive to like scented products. It doesn't bother me because I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's not going to linger, but it does have a perfume kind of scent to it. So if you are allergic or if you do not like that in your makeup products, then definitely stay away from this foundation. But if you don't mind it like I don't, um, then you might really enjoy this because so far, it is looking beautiful on the skin. So for some reason, I do feel like the Lancome foundation is actually giving me a little bit more glow than the Hourglass foundation. And it's just making my skin look a little bit more juicier. Really looking good right now. And I really enjoy that. It really stick to my nose as well. It covered the redness. I can still see a little bit of the redness on my nose, but the foundation really covers all of my redness at once. I do have to add a little bit of concealer just to give me that extra coverage, but it is giving me a solid medium coverage for sure. It did a really good job on covering my sunspots, which are right here as well. It's just is looking good it is looking really good so all right so those are my first initial thoughts in regards of these foundations i am leaning a little bit more towards the lancome for sure um but we will see at the end of the day i am going to give you a full full day of a wear test on these uh, two foundations it is going to be a very long day for me so we will see each other at the end of the day and I will let you guys know what I think about these two foundations. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll get back to you guys so you guys can see the final look with all the makeup on. All right, guys, so this is how the skin looks like after applying the rest of my makeup. Here we have the hourglass sign. And here we have the Lancome. Everything went on really nice and smooth. There was no problem whatsoever with the concealer, powder, um, bronzer, blushes, or anything like that. It just, the skin looks really, really nice. I love how healthy and glowy and how it's not settling into any of my pores or fine lines or anything like that. The only thing that I can tell you right now is that this side, I do see a little bit of redness on my chin, but I have been sweating. It is so hot. And I have air conditioning, so I don't know why I'm sweating so much. But we will see how this foundation lasts. I will check with you guys later on tonight. And I will give you my final thoughts on which one you should be getting based on my skin type, my recommendation, and my experience. I will give you all of that information later on tonight. So I'll see you guys later. All right, guys, is 920. Everybody's sleeping. Well, my kids are. Let me add a little bit of lip gloss because I am feeling kind of weird without anything on my lips. So here we have the face. Um, you can see how greasy it is on my nose and on this side right here. It's like oily. It's not super, super oily, but it's definitely shiny. Let me just show you. So here we have the hourglass sign. And here we have the Lancome side. I can tell, I mean, I can tell the, the foundation is completely gone on my nose, like right on the bridge of my nose is completely gone. Um, there is some redness peeking through on both sides. On the chin, I do see some redness right here on the very like 
middle of my chin um, but everything else is actually looking kind of good in the rest of the face I mean you can still see the bronzer the blush the highlighter obviously my oils have come through but it's not breaking the foundation down neither on the hourglass side nor on the Lancome side whatsoever which is amazing because I was sweating and I've been wearing this foundation so I pretty much finished putting the foundation on maybe like around one o'clock so now it's like 9 30 so that is eight hours for sure that I've been wearing this foundation running around picking up the kids playing with my little one bathing him going outside sweating oh my goodness so much sweat um but the foundation has actually lasted both of them have lasted really nice and i actually like the way that this looks they look pretty similar to to one another um the shade and everything i mean it just looks really similar to one another which is very impressive hourglass definitely does not have a scent you are not going to smell it um whatsoever so that is a good thing just in case you wanted to know which foundation to pick so if you are sensitive to scented um foundations then definitely go with the hourglass i think it is absolutely beautiful i was definitely leaning a little bit more to the lancome in the beginning but it looks really exactly the same which is pretty crazy both sides it just looks really really good so i can just add a little bit of powder to see if maybe that will fix a little bit of my oils the only oils that i could be offended by <laughs> it's really the middle of my face so let me just add a little bit of powder to see what happens so i can just add a little bit of powder here see and you can see now the redness a little bit more uh, than when the oils were there just tapping a little bit of powder Ugh, that was too much let me see in between before i add powder yeah because usually every foundation cakes up right here and it's not doing that which i absolutely love so this is how the foundation looks after adding a little bit of powder i'm good to go again so if you don't mind scented products then the lancome is definitely the way to go it is a little bit less expensive than the hourglass i did mention the prices in the beginning i will link everything down below in the description area and, and this video right here for the rest of the look should be up already so i will link it also down below or somewhere up here let me know in the comment section if you are interested in trying any of these two foundations which one are you leaning towards more but yeah that is it thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your love your time and support please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you next time bye